It's a sunny day at Heathrow. What more could you want? Yeah, the thing about this thing is it, it has sort of wheels on it. And uh, I've not been quite used to that before. So just join me as we have a good look at this and see about how we kind of taxi this thing. It's all new to me. Yeah, and I'm sorry folks, I couldn't really help myself. The HPG 160 in 4K with all this glorious PBR, well that is something else. Lovely to have you with us folks, let's get geeking into it. So we are at Heathrow Airport, I picked this airport once again because it's one of the uh, more heavy scenery airports within Microsoft Flight Simulator. And just to demonstrate, we're around about 30 frames per second once again. The tablet is no different. If you click on settings and you can press ready for takeoff, then you'll find that the aircraft starts straight away from cold. If you park uh, on, in a parking stand, it will be cold and dark to start off with. If you park on a runway, it will be there and live, ready to go. One or two things I thought it might be good to demonstrate. The first thing is taxiing forward. And there is a sizable section on this uh, in uh, the manual. Well, I su suspect this will be you know, ported right into a much more expensive manual. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget, it's got wheels on it and you can taxi the thing. So we'll have a quick look at this, shall we, and just begin to work through it. Always important, I feel, just highlight my settings here. And you can see these are at total zero. Uh, sometimes I would put a dead zone in of around about 3% on all of the uh, settings here. But no, for this one, I've just brought everything back to zero so I can see exactly what's going on with the site click. Although I'll very much enjoy you watching me fall all over the place trying to work out how to operate the taxiing, I thought it would be helpful for firstly stress that this is not a review, it's a preview. And secondly, that within the small manual that I've got, there's nothing at the moment about the kind of settings that you might want to use for your cyclic. I think that that is to come, but I definitely enjoyed playing about with this function. And of course, I fully expect Hype to have really refined this. Uh, to me, it feels as if there needs to be some limits during the taxi somehow applied. Because as you'll see, I'm quite capable of tilting the helicopter over. However, I really did enjoy this. And yeah, it does work. So first thing I can see is, I've checked my overhead panels. But one thing is uh, landing lights as required. So we'll have some lights. Don't forget they're down here. Uh, exterior lights will have that on, landing lights will have uh, that, that on and uh, we'll have an anti-collision light on as well. To begin taxi, a nose wheel free, park brake off, that's uh, helpful isn't it? So park brake goes to off, nose wheel needs to be uh, free, it just goes to the front here. Just interested to see what happens to the nose wheel when I yeah, you can see that when I use the yaw on my stick, I get movement on the front there. Okay, so let's jump back in. Now, it doesn't say you can go backwards, but it says to begin taxi, uh, collective pitch increase as necessary. So it actually says that I should be using between 1.5 and 2.5 FLI. So this is the FLI here. So just going to increase this slightly, but pushing down on that nose wheel. And we should see it start to roll forwards. There we are. Ooh, this is new. Don't think I should be really... moving around here but we will because we'll turn back on ourselves and, and we'll just pass some glorious aircraft we can follow some taxi lines sorry here we go oh 
that's not good. Unfortunately, oh, it's the power simulation. Let's try that again. So, uh, lowering forward. Increase the power again. So if you use too much yoke, it falls over. Or sticks, sorry. It will actually topple over if I move the cyclic. And also, the front of the aircraft is just lifting off the ground here. Take it down to there, which is virtually nothing. The wheels are down. If I increase the collective, but if I push down, that works quite well. That's zero throttle or zero collective. If I push down on the collective, front of the nose of the aircraft goes down. If I move the sorry, this is the cyclist, left left to right. Don't, whatever you do, pull back on the cyclic and then go left because it will go over. Let's try and make it go over again. There we are. So it is possible to turn the helicopter if you get it wrong. The movement from the cyclic is on all three wheels and it is possible to throw the whole thing over. Push down on the nose wheel, increase the speed, increase. there we are. doesn't need very much because look at how that's tipping. So folks, uh, what are we to conclude? Well, I gave you an early doors in kind of suggestion of what I thought and that this is a preview and not a review of a product that Hyper produced. I am really pleased with it. I mean, at the very least, you see, the reason we get into flight simulation is to kind of struggle with one or two things to work it out for ourselves. And uh, as I say, I think that there might be some refinements that Hype might want to put into uh, the ground taxiing. However, I did notice and I highlighted when I look back at the footage, my problem is that I was using my cyclic uh, stick, uh, well, my stick as a cyclic, and I have a twist function on there for the rudder. So I was twisting on the cycling. At the same time, I was also pushing, uh, you know, up and down, left or right. You couldn't kind of help yourself. And that's what caused the helicopter to flip. So I'm not quite sure whether that is something that I need to sort because as I, as I recognize you could just do it with rudder pedals or you could have a separate key press or it's something that Height wants to sort uh, th themselves. But from my point of view, this is a, an excellent product and Hype have a reputation anyway for refining constantly 
what they are doing. They produce high quality material, high quality aircraft in the first place. Then they get the whole community involved. The discourse channel is absolutely buzzing with this. And then they move forward with, with continual refinements that are just, well, superb, really. Uh, just trying to, to search after that realism as much as possible. So I, I, I think that Hype will refine this even further. This is not a review. It's a preview of what's come. I'm quite excited. $49.99 US dollars. Would I buy it? Yes, yes, I uh, I do believe I would buy it, or at least, as I said earlier, I think I'll be into negotiations with my wife. All right, thanks a lot, folks. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, and because uh, I'm very keen to get onto that golden 1,000 number where we can start earning a little bit of revenue, and that's going to mean it's more affordable for me to test even more software out. Take care, stay safe. Thanks for joining us.